All right, you guys, today we are back out here once again. I have my large 360 degree magnet with me. Something heavy. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Dude, what is this? Oh my gosh. The, and this old one, like this one here, could be worth some big dollars. Holy cow. All right. <gasps> oh my gosh. What is going on today, guys? As you can tell, it is absolutely gorgeous out here today. We are back down by the river. I got my waders on. Today, we're going to get back in the water, and we are going to be doing some more magnet fishing. Now, we do have Alex over here. And if you guys remember in one of our last videos, Dave from Sawdust City Magnets actually got Alex's magnet unstuck. So Alex has his magnet back. We're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get right down to it. Let's hop in the water, start tossing around and let's see if we can find anything today. All right, you guys, today we are back out here once again. I have my large 360 degree magnet with me. Let's not waste any time today. Let's get right down to it, start tossing around and let's see if we can find anything. Oh, right off the bat, you guys, I didn't think there was much. First of all, we have another one of these like circle cutout plates. I know most of you guys know what the heck these things are, or I should say we don't know what they are, but we are finding hundreds of these things in here. But you guys, look at the orange color we got sticking off of there. Bunch of scrap bits, bunch of debris on there, but check out this jig, the old orange eyeball jig, and it looks like it's got, uh, I think that's a goby rubber on there. The hook still looks good. I guarantee you, you could still catch a fish with this thing oh whoa that's a super hole right there yo yeah wow just stepped off a cliff oh look at this you guys holy cow I thought this was just a random piece of scrap metal, but does that not look like there's blades on there? Heck yeah, you guys, that's gotta be some kind of saw blade. But why is it so thin and flimsy looking? Maybe it's not. Pretty cool, you guys. Oh, I got something, you guys. Is that some kind of container? What is this? Hold on, that sucker's super muddy. Yeah, what do we got here? You guys, this kind of looks like a paint bucket at first, but I got some of the mud out of there. Look at that, there's like a cage at the bottom. Oh, look at it now, you can see holes in the side of this thing. What in the world is that? Some kind of filter or some kind of vent for something? Tons of clams on that thing. Who the heck knows what that is? Whoa, that's where the drop off is, right there. <laughs> I just stepped off the deep end. At least into a hole. Where is that? Yeah, right there. Oh, man. It gets steep pretty quick a little bit right here. Oh, I got something big on here, you guys. What the heck is this? Oh, yeah. What is this thing? Whoa. Look at that. That's definitely some kind of pan or pot or something. Hold on. Hey, this is one of these. I know what this is. Well, I don't know what it is, but we found one of these here last time. You guys, this is one of those, like I said, it was maybe a milk carton lid because this here kind of looks like a handle that you would twist and turn to pull the lid off of something. I don't really know. Who knows how long this one's been down there. Like one end of like a on oh yeah look at that it's like a oh there's definitely a rope yeah for sure oh yeah there it goes yeah, yeah. Nice. Is anything on there? what is that no oh it's like a grappling hook dude is it really yeah there's hooks on the end of it some kind of hook world. for something who knows what you they were doing like with that kayak anchor maybe maybe i don't know I keep tugging on so much stuff, but a lot of it pops off. It really seems like everything is just stuck in the mud here. And you can imagine if it's been down there for a hundred years or so, it probably is stuck in the mud. It probably just covered right up. Oh, 
Oh, look at this, you guys. I couldn't tell what was going on. Looked like just a bunch of scrap, but dude, I think this is, uh, what do you call that, like a trowel? Like the gardening shovel. No way! You could like still use this thing to garden. Who knows what, almost a hundred years later. Unbelievable. Oh, look at that. Oh, are you kidding me right now? You guys, there's like a handle on there. Is this some kind, is this a pencil sharpener? Could you imagine? What the heck is that? Some kind of container here with literally a handle, like a crank on there. What in the world do you guys think this thing is? Does it turn? It does, what the heck, man? I don't know you guys, that is really cool. Oh, check this one out, you guys. Another fishing tail. The old white rubber on that one. And again, look at how rusty that hook looks. I think as soon as you got a fish to bite on that one, it would snap right off. Another junk jig, but still pretty cool. Oh, what is this? We're, we're definitely dragging something through the mud here. Right here, what is this? Whoa, whoa, what the heck do we got going on here? You guys, another flipping lid, this is wild. And you know what's weird, we are finding like 10 lids to every one container. So like why are there just so many more lids than containers in here, that is weird. The old fancy lid, and look it, it's like the exact same style as this one here, only this one's like way smaller. Other than that you guys, it kinda just looked like a bunch of scrap and debris. A big long piece, this kinda looks like a banding, maybe off of like a barrel or something. Oh, look at that on there too you guys. Yeah, that's definitely a handle off of something. And I'm gonna guess, probably another lid. Oh my goodness, whoa. Whoa, what is this? Oh, okay. I got something big. There's no way this is gonna stay on, is it? Wow, that's like... Oh my gosh, dude, it, it is, it's moving slow. Very, very, dude, this is huge. I'm talking, this is a school bus. What the, I'm not gonna get this, am I? I am, oh my gosh, here it comes. Dude, whoa, okay, that's like freaky looking. It's like coming at me. Look it, it is, whoa. Oh, no wonder I caught it. Look at my magnet. Dude, what is this? Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> my goodness. Hey, look at it. Does that not look like some green paint, kind of? Check that out. Is this like a car hood? Look at this flipping thing. Whoa. Yeah, look at it. It's got the trim piece down the center. Dude, I think you're absolutely right. Look at this. Look at the tip. Unbelievable. This is the tip of the hood, I think. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What would that be off of? Something. Like a 50s Big. Ford or something? The old John Dillinger? <laughs> Holy cow. At this point, I'm starting to wonder if there's not a whole car down there. Let me flip this thing up. Look on the inside here, you guys. Check that out. <laughs> I don't know if that's what the inside of an old school hood looks like. Oh, hey, look at this. In the sunlight, this like, light, it shines red or orange, I mean. Look at that, kind of like a reflector. Reflector, yeah. absolutely. Holy cow. Hey, look at, <laughs> another fishing jig. Wow. Could you imagine if there literally is like an old 1950s Ford or something in there and we just yanked the hood right off of the vehicle itself? That would be absolutely insane. All right, yeah. if you clean it up, if it has any markings on it, this whole thing could be two, you know, 50 to 250 or even 500 bucks. Yeah. Really? Seriously. Okay. No yeah, the, in a, this old one, like this one here, could be worth some big dollars. Holy cow. All right. <laughs>
Oh, here we go. That feels nice. Hold on. What is this coming to me? What is this coming to me? Something heavy. Yeah. Whoa, dude. Okay. What is this? Dude, is that the top of an engine? Look at, you can see like a filter in there. Do you see that? Yeah. What is this? Holy cow. <laughs> would that go on like the top of an yeah. engine? Yeah, it would. It looks like it would. That's that's super freaking cool. Man. And you know what? This is the same. I literally threw it in same the same spot. area as I found that hood. What if there's a whole vehicle like in there? Half the body stuck in the mud. Maybe like, that's over time. It. Oh, like, well, maybe not. I was gonna say maybe you got stuck on the car, but that was down yeah. there more. That's crazy, man. I'm Holy cow! Keep throwing over that same spot there. Awesome find, bro. Awesome. Holy cow, you guys. Who knows what the heck else is out there? And again, tons of clams. You guys, my camera died on me. But check it out. I found one of those DuPont Nitromon dynamite lids. This is like a dynamite chemical lid. Four and a half by 16 and two thirds pounds. It is pretty crazy how many of these things we have pulled out of here, you guys. I found a freaking ducky. A duck? A duck. You are Look at that, dude. <laughs> Whoa. That's hilarious. Wah, wah. What is that? What in the world? I That's love really cool. Down there, dude. I, this just needs a little soap and water. So <laughs> like right on my desk, dude. This will be one of my prized possessions. That's super it's cool. Insanely cool, bro. Look at that. <laughs> what the heck? And it looks like there's a holes no, through there, like so it would here. go on a hinge or something. Yeah, like, right. what in the world? That's really cool, man. For sure. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's got writing on it. A hundred? As in like what? A hundred dollars? Or what is this? A hundred? Hey. What in the world is this? Is this remember when I, machine? I was just going to say, remember like when I. It's a gambling machine, dude. Remember when I found the piece that had uh, like the corner piece yeah, that absolutely. said something about targets and scores? Dude, yes. Very, and a very duck. Cool. Maybe yeah, this goes right? with the game. Maybe it's, this is one of the targets. Oh, dude, it's like a circus or something. Yeah, like a circus that's game. cool, man. Yeah, yeah oh, dude, you're absolutely right. That's what the hinges are for. Yeah. Holy cow. Right. 100 points. I, if that's a machine, that's got to be the whole machine still out there for yet. For sure, for sure. Two guys. Literally, another one of these DuPont Nitromon lids. And that one's still, you could read that pretty good. Holy cow. Oh, wait a minute. Look at the center is like popping out. Yeah. And I had this thing sticking off of there too. Hold on a second. Check this thing out, you guys. It's got like two screws or something coming off the top. And it looks like it could be mounted to something. What in the world do you think that one is? It looks like there's a couple wires coming off the top here too. Yeah, I just broke some of the rust off there. You can tell it's kind of copperish. There is so much cool stuff in here, you guys. I just can't get enough. It's like every other throw. Gosh, yes, I just found a gun. I just found a flipping pistol. Oh my gosh, or dude. Oh, I think it's like a cap gun, man. Look it. Oh my gosh, I saw this coming up and I just about crapped my diaper, man. Unreal. The old revolver, check that out. I think it could be a cap gun. It definitely is, because I don't think real guns split down the middle. <laughs> Holy cow. Almost, man. Unbelievable. The only thing that we haven't found. Oh. Right you guys, what the heck, man? I know you guys seen that thing and thought it was real, too. Still super crazy. The old revolver. Pew, pew. 
All right, you guys, we got everything loaded up into the back of the truck. And unfortunately, that is going to wrap our video up here for today. Look at the back of my truck here, you guys. I got stuff sticking out of there. That shoreline is just absolutely stacked. No doubt we'll absolutely be back in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and get the heck out of here for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned, and I will catch you on the next one.